All right, YouTube, White Horse here, going to give you guys a deck profile of tonight's tournament winning Mer Mono Mermel deck profile. Uh, Mono Mermel. Eric, how'd you do? I uh, went undefeated and totally only lost two, two games out of the whole. That's pretty awesome. All right, show us your build. All right. We're in one lead because it's kind of stable. Okay. Play three Megalo. Hello? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Play three Abyss Tiss. Mm -hmm. This card's amazing. Yeah. No, I'm a fanatic. Triple Lamb. Three Lamb. Yeah. So good. Mm hmm. Fanatic. Of course. <laughs> that card is amazing. <laughs> the best search card. Okay, bye, Jamie. Two Gun. Woo! That card's awesome, isn't it? I want, yeah. I want tonight in game three because of it. Yeah. Did you take your stuff out and put back up? Yeah. Sorry, man, I wasn't here. Oh, wait, yeah, it was. Why do you play Turge? Turge is so good and so... Um, because D.Va and, like, your infantries and your marksmen and, like, say, like, gun and stuff, like, it just opens up so many more plays to your hand, like... Uh, say you have something dead in your hand, then you don't want to discard it for like you don't want to discard, discard for nothing. You can just add yeah. what you need back in the hand. Yeah. I always play high roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. The three D bro. Don't even explain yourself. <laughs> Wins games. Bro, this is the MVP of the day. Needs to get hit. That no, that needs to get hit. <laughs> Dragoons was pretty good today. I, I didn't know TK once. Oh wait, no, that's not true. I did one time. That's it. Marks. Uh, three marksmen. I think three of him and three infantry. You like three infantry? I love three infantry. I play three infantry and I love it. I use it for both effects, the additional normal summon and the uh, yeah, and pop. And, and my really, tech really helps out with it. Yeah. So Evil Swan is not a problem. Play the Trinity. Okay. Play one book of moon. Uh -huh. uh, this card did right pretty here. well. To, uh, this card did pretty well today. No, right here. Right yeah. Okay. Perfect. It did Perfect. pretty good today. Okay. Uh, oh, one mind control. Yep. I run. I, I won my my first game with it. I didn't really draw into it that much, but usually it, it helps you win games. Yeah. And then. Have, oh my God. Explanation. Card is getting banned. That reset button. Then I play. Two MST. Mm -hmm. I side my third. Uh, you know, you can you can put it in if you want to. I just find. You know, yeah. And I you're running three marks, man. Yeah. Then my tech. How do you like this? I love this. It is so good because a lot of your dead hands that you would get without playing this, like this just makes it instantly live. And, yeah. And like you can go diva again, and it's just it's so stupid. It's so yeah. good. For traps, like three spear. Oh my god, so broke. So good, so broke. And then play two Decree. Why do you play Decree? Uh, Decree because we, in our meta here at Fanatics, we kind of play Trap AD uh, most of the time. And even at regions, I'd probably still play this because you know you have rogue decks and stuff like that. But it's an easy side out option. And if you're like if you know how to play around it like I do, you're just, uh, it's, it, it never really is a problem with your abyss fear. Don't touch my stuff. All right, side deck and extra deck, please. All right, extra deck. I have an ice cream. I one gotchi gotchi. Seven. Uh, went into it once today. Okay. I ran one abyss strike. Went into it once. Uh, yeah, I would have went into it once today. All right. Abyss Dweller yeah. took it as a help me when, um, cause I had- That's good for the mirror, isn't it? Yeah, I had Gaius and this out against the mirror in game two. Oh, sweet. Um, one Maestro. It's so good against <laughs> Ophion. Uh, one Leviathan. <laughs> yeah. Dragon is pretty good. <laughs> one Utopia. It actually helped me win a game today. Nice. But I still have it. Uh, one Bahamut Shark. Just needed. The beats over Ophion too. Okay. Well, MVP okay. exceed oh, Gaios. I okay. only had to go Gaios twice today, because oh, otherwise, because in this version with the salvage and everything, you kind of just like keep adding a hand and popping everything. So it's like, not a problem. I went into him so much today. It's, it's nuts. Yeah. Catastrophe came out a few times. It was pretty good. Never went into this, but it's there for whenever you face Catastrophe. Yeah. It's just easy to go into. Yeah. One Black Rose. One 
But every I time you end up Star Wars going, Wars it's like they can. No, I had Star. Wars. Yeah, I don't like going Black Rose that much because they always have uh, something I mean, to counter. Like, I mean, it's a good option. Yeah. I mean, it worked like twice, but Imagine one time I got pulled, so it's kind of salty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gun Gear is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Like I said, with I want a game. I want a game with that at local Sega Visions today, just with a with salvage. You add them back to hand, and you can discard for their effects, mm -hmm. and then they get their effects to pop whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, if you like, say you discard a two, and then you can destroy two more cards. Yeah, so that's really good. And then the last one is one Crimson Blade. Yep, that's good against dragons, mirror I, match, I, stuff like that. I, uh, top eight actually put to get six samurai. Oh, and he had that's four sick. monsters for first turn, and I just went this because yeah. I. I got rid of his back row mm -hmm. with the monster effects, and then mm -hmm. I went to him, and then I tacked over his, uh, one of his, like, Miz not Mizuho, but, uh, what's his? Kazan. 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 I went to beat over his Kazan, and he just couldn't do anything. Alright, side deck. Side deck. I ran two maxi mm -hmm. for anything as fast as my deck, like mermels or whatever. Or, like, you know, if we have dragons here, we're probably side against it. And just anything really that goes kind of fast. Yeah. Um, play two snowmen. How did this work for you? Um, I didn't go into it today. I didn't really side much today because I felt really confident. And, uh, and then, cause like I said, salvage, you kind of just add back to hand, pop everything in the field. But. Uh, usually against uh, evil swarms or heroes, the heroes are still around. Mm -hmm. uh, when they attack into it, they kind of get mad. Um, for rogue, like for rogue, you know, then you have evil swarm with the stellars or yeah. like grave keepers or dark world, or, you know, worms or you know anything. Mm -hmm. They're just there. You know, you're just really play one overworked. Uh, How do you like that? I think this card's going to be good in the upcoming format why it's in here, but today I didn't use it, but I, I think uh, it, it'd be really good. Mm -hmm. One more from jar number two. <laughs> that, it's amazing, ain't it? It is so amazing. It is really good. That's a really cool card. Uh, two Kaiku. Yep. What do you, why do you side that? Um, because against dragons, it's really good because they can't vanish. And then... Uh, you kind of just sit on them, but against like uh, cards that vitalize in their in their uh, graveyard, you know, like dark worlds or you know just rogue decks, it's just a really good side card. Yeah. I played my third MST. Yeah. Why are you doing, man? Two torrentials <laughs> uh, for for speed decks or the mirror match. And no, two composed for like evil swarms and stuff. All right, guys. Um, that's Eric's mono mermel deck profile. Like he said, he went undefeated with it tonight. One got how much money? Store credit. Nice. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys will enjoy upcoming videos that we'll be doing tonight at Fanatics' lock in. So, uh, like I said, you know. Until next time, this is why we're signing out. Peace.